the ultimate equalizer. The Tarkov wipe had finally arrived, and with it came the erasing of everyone's progress. The loot and experience accumulated in the previous wipe all vanishing in an instant. It was time to return once more to the trials and tribulations of early wipe, and I was loading in, mere minutes after the wipe occurred, prepared to thrive in this new world order through sheer force of will. But my first task was to pick a name. God damn it! I don't like that. Oh! With my name finally selected, I took a look at my rather unimpressive starting stash. Let's take their recommendation of what we should roll with. But wasting no time, I grabbed my first task to kill scavs for Prapor and headed right in the customs. Everyone hates me. Let's go! I beelined for dorms to hunt for loot. Bro, I don't even know what to do. I was feeling good, prepared to fight. Round one, fight! Welcome. <sighs> Sad gamer noises. My first encounter, and I died. Not the most auspicious start to my wipe. So I loaded into another customs run, taking in the best gear from my beginning loot. And I died again. No. This start was not going my way, but little did I know how this would all come full circle in the most unexpected manner. I next headed in for my first scav run of the wipe, hoping that my luck would improve. That was unnecessary. Now a new addition this wipe was Scav Karma. It impacted your reputation with the fence, so every time you killed a Scav when playing as a Scav, it punished you by reducing the rep. I didn't quite fully understand this yet. Oh, so how does this Scav Karma stuff work? Did I just ruin my Scav Karma? Oh, I wanted that, don't care. Railroad to military base. I got a PS. I, I, I'll probably take a most. <laughs> After that nail biting extract, I loaded back into customs on my PMC. I started the raid by looting some stashes. I needed anything and everything at the moment. <laughs> I grabbed the gear from my kills and armed myself with an AK. I think I'm starting to get my flow a little bit. Oh my god, bro, this ammo does nothing. I'd taken out enough scavs for Prapor's task, so I looted and began winding my way towards the extract. If I hit a face tap, it's over regardless. Oh, perfect. I think it's just a scout. One on the win. Welcome. I escaped from that rather perilous spot and circled around through the woods towards the extract. Hey. Oh yeah, baby. My first successful PMC extraction of the wipe. I'd needed that. I've got a freaking bee's hornet's nest on my head. I decided to next do a scav run in factory to potentially get some additional gear. Do they still kill you? Does player scavs kill you? Now with the new scav karma in the game, a fellow player scav and I were wiggling at each other to indicate that we were friendly. Nice. This, this little son of a bitch! This little rat! That ambush and betrayal. I wouldn't forget this. Zora Buddha rat! He's a booty rat! He's a booty rat! <sighs> but next, I picked up a new task from the mechanic to go collect a message left at Jaeger's camp on the woods. I grabbed an MP5 and headed in. I made my way towards the camp, but first I had to pass by the sawmill. 
Брики, брики, пальчик выкинь. I killed one of Sturman's guards, the dangerous scav boss of woods who wielded top tier equipment. Oh. I don't know who this guy is. No, man! Sturman had rushed me and killed me in a scuffle. I needed to redeem myself in all these unfortunate events, but I knew that where I lost now, soon I would triumph. So first, I decided to redeem that sad initial factory scav expedition. Oh, but he... So I returned there on my scav for my next run. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. After a number of kills, I now had to quickly gather up all the loot before any other enemies arrived. I then made my way to the extract and escaped with some solid gear, and a satisfying feeling of redemption. We did a pretty good one. Now next, I did a number of runs. I first got the message from Jaeger from the woods at night. It is dark and spooky. Yeah, where's the nut hut, my guy? Good job. I then did some high octane reserve runs for money. Jesus Christ. Just die already. Oh, mm. oh loud he comes! Ah. Oh, he did. I murdered him. Oh, it's got the nipple sight. I knew it! I knew it! That little rat! I also got into some more scrappy scav action on Factory. What in God's name? Buddy, I'm gonna game end you. I told you. Mom, get the camera! Now I'd completed some quests and also gained some levels. My next task was one of the most iconic in Tarkov. I had to get Prapor's bronze pocket watch, so I geared up and went into customs to retrieve it. We're in Narnia. Take one of these. Killed a player and then found a body, so I looted up before pushing towards the truck where I could find the bronze pocket watch. I don't want to insurance fraud that. Yep, that was a player. Drag out! We out. I don't think I'd loot. There was no time to loot. This early in the wipe, many people would also be doing this task, so this was a very dangerous place. I ran along the edge of the map, hitting a few stashes on the way, and then eventually arrived at the far extract. I handed in the bronze pocket watch, and now my next task was to kill scavs in the woods. And I hadn't forgotten about my earlier run-in with Sturman, so I decided to actually head into the woods on a scav run to do some reconnaissance for good places to go scav hunting. All right, let's... Oh! Who killed this man? Friendly scav! We're friends! He doesn't trust me. I don't think I want to trust him either. We're just gonna go our separate ways. That's a Sturman! I heard Sturman's telltale SVD cracking off shots in the distance. Even with the potential scav karma ramifications for fighting him, I went to investigate. I learned a lesson from the booty rat. That is... Yep. Uh-oh. I'm dead, probably. 
Sturman was here and had already injured me. The next shot would kill. <laughs> I found a tricky angle and hit a headshot. I looted up Sturman's gear. This was a big haul. All right, where are my extracts? With all this stuff, it was time to escape. I had to do it. Anakin, you were my brother! This man had a number of yoinks. I continued on towards extract. So I don't know what that's all about. A successful scav run, and redemption for my initial encounter with Sturman. But I needed some more money now, so I decided to head to the reserve, remembering my profitable run earlier. Oh, we got it! Best Tetris player anyone has ever seen. I loaded into reserve after banking the loot and spawned in the tunnels. My plan was to flip the switch at D2 to spawn raiders, hopefully kill them, and then claim their expensive items. It's go time! All right, then. I was taking out raiders, some more awkwardly than others. After taking out a number of well-armed raiders, I began looting up all my kills as fast as I could. I knew that the commotion would attract other players. Multiple sets of footsteps were approaching. I needed a move. I'd been in the clear, but I'd run right into a different person. That run had been filled with potential, but I'd lost it all. I loaded in again with an AK with the same plan and soon heard numerous players approaching. Reloading! Target down! No, oh, man, I didn't hear anything until the last second. <laughs> Ambushed again. Rats. These runs were meant to turn a profit, but we're doing the opposite. So next, I headed in once more with the AK I'd taken from Sturman, determined to make this run a success. Ooh. Bang, bang, pumpkin gang, honk, honk, pumpkin bong. There were raiders and players down here. This would be a scuffle. Oh, I know where they are. Oh, this guy sort of looted already. I'm gonna speed loot these guys. A moment of quiet. I looted up gear from numerous raiders. Ooh. With substantial loot, I now made for the extract. Raider kills and then extracting? That's big. That had been a very profitable run, redeeming those less than favorable ones. Now I next wanted some different scenery, so I decided to head to Interchange where I also had a task to kill some scavs for Ragman. Really good. Get everything. No, but it was a good time. It contradict. That was a killer, you son of a gun! A classic encounter in the mall. A full spray with strong ammo into killer, and it gets shrugged off. So next I did some more runs on reserve. See, I was trying to reach level 20 so that I could access the flea market, and I could potentially get some very good experience here. Welcome back. Patience, let it wait for a clear shot. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's try that again. Gotcha, bitch! Fast as... Bah. 
I got a double laser. What the? I can see inside the gun, and it's concerning. I made some cheeky kills and had a few loot-laden runs. <laughs> Stand clear of the closing doors, please. But after all this time on reserve, I decided to switch it up once more and do a scav run back on interchange. We're in. Okay, decent. I can work with this. I think ice cream cake is the S-tier cake. I'd spawned in the parking garage and ran up to the stores. That's killer. Oh my god, that's killer. How do we do this? I immediately saw this as a chance to make up for my previous death to killer. And I was a scav, so he wouldn't necessarily attack me. I very gingerly approached to figure out my plans. Alright, I'm not looking at you. It's like a freaking Enderman. How close can I get to him? Look how scary he is. <laughs> now, I didn't ever aim at him directly as I was worried that that could aggro him. He, like, shook his head at me. Another player scav was here and also scoping out Killa. He's like a spider, you know what I mean? He's like a snake. He's like a gazelle. He's like a lion. I'm looking at a lion in the jungle. This was a game of brinksmanship with the other player, Scav. We both wanted the loot, but didn't want to actually kill him and lose all the fence reputation. This guy wants me to do the same thing. As time continued to tick down, I checked a nearby store for loot. Shots toward where Killa had just been. That crazy son of a bitch went for it! <laughs> yes! Yes! This fool! The other player, Scav, had seized the opportunity and killed Killa, and then I had killed the Scav. This had worked out perfectly. I played chess magnificently! What we got? Love it. With all the loot, I sprinted out of the mall towards the railway extract. So that guy lost a ton of fence rep and gets no loot. Beautiful work. I was out, stacked with Killa's gear and with a sweet feeling of redemption. Now I next decided to continue working on the scav kills task on Woods, so I loaded in there with a Mosin. I just need to get scav kills though. That'll do it! He's dead meat! Oh, I like this shotgun. Boink. All right, I'll take that. I was making progress on scav kills, but I wanted some more loot. And a good amount of time had passed since wipe now, and I was closing in on level 20. But other people were even farther ahead. It's a Chad noise to make when you get injured. Watch this. Uh, parkour! What the hell was that? Anyone else hear that? Give me that. got a few good silencers and stuff. After a loot-filled run, I loaded in with my Mosin once more, hoping that I could take my loot to the next level. We've reached rock bottom, folks. I think this might be Usec Camp. Yes! I started this woods run by looting up the often very juicy Usec Camp. I then began moving towards the sawmill when I saw movement in the tree line. I hit him. Silenced guns, likely scoped in what looked like a duo. I think I hit both of them. I'd need to play this just right if I was gonna win. I'm a scary, scary fellow at the moment though. I'm a Mosin man with nothing to lose. I'd killed one of the heavily geared players. This little cat and mouse game was intensifying. Hey, let's go. The other player was dead. I hit that guy in the toe. I think I blacked his thorax early on. 
These guys were exceedingly well armed for this point in the wipe. I looted everything from both of them, even leaving behind my humble Mosin. This is a... Sticking to cover, I then ran all the way to the extract. Whoo! I did it to him as a Mosin man. Like ten levels on me, yeah. They had the flea market, I didn't. I'd made it out with two powerful guns and I was closing in on level 20. But I needed more XP, so I next picked up a task to collect a document in the woods for the skier. If I finished this task, I'd almost be at 20. I then used some of the weapon parts I'd gotten to mod out an SVD I had, and then headed right back into the woods. I'm just like kind of full sending this. There's an angry Russian somewhere here. I heard him. Ow. I pushed towards the sawmill where the document was hidden in a small trailer. While searching for the task item, I came under fire and had to flee before I could grab it. I got a little scared. What if that was actually sh After repositioning, I'd seen a couple players running by. I had to be cautious. Hello there. They know exactly where I am now. Welcome. I'd killed both of them. Now to loot. Alright, let's go get that thingy. Loaded with all their gear, I still needed to return to the trailer to get the document. With the item in my pack, I started heading to the extraction point. I'm in trouble. I rotated around away from these players and eventually arrived at the ZB-14 extract. Nice. EP located. I handed in the item to Skier and then picked up a new task from Ragman. Level 20 was right around the corner. I've been waiting forever to hand these in! Now I needed one more cowboy hat to complete this task. And then I noticed my next scav. <laughs> This could be it, but I had to make this run count. I decided that I would go to Interchange. I knew the map well and could likely escape without much trouble. A lot of ammo, even if it is kind of dinky. I say we just go hit Railway. This looks like it got looted. Wait a second. If that was open, that means someone opened that while I was in this run. Uh-oh. <laughs> no! No! Go! Ugh. I don't think so, buddy. Alright, we made a lot of noise. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I did what I had to do. More footsteps. This run was for the hat and I had a good amount of loot already. Not the time to get greedy. Sprinted out of the mall to escape. Oh, no. Please, I just want to leave, man. All I want is a cowboy hat. Ooh. And I was out. All right, Ragman, you don't know what this cost. I handed in the cowboy hat, and I was level 19 with the tiniest sliver of experience needed to reach level 20. So I decided to next quickly get it done and headed into factory to finish the job. Now thinking back to my first run of the wipe, when I got killed by another player, I could feel that redemption was coming. Starting with some light looting, I wound my way through the factory corridors.
whole squad taken out. I like what I see. I killed a team of three players, but this was a dangerous spot. I had to loot fast. With everything in my pack, I dodged scavs and ran to extract. Ooh. I was out, and freshly christened at level 20. That did it! Oh. The flea market was now open, and with it came a flood of opportunities. He's so beautiful. See, my wipe had started in a rough way, but over time, and with a bit of ingenuity, it had all worked out. I was satisfied. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And right now, I'm live streaming on my Twitch, so come say hi. Also, make sure to go follow my Twitter and my Instagram and my thumbnail artist, too. All the links are below in the description. This has been your friend Wellen, concluding a sweet tale of redemption. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>